Man, after I done sat back for a week or so, listened to a lot of shit, look at a lot of shit, I came to my conclusion. Y'all don't know real niggas from fake niggas. Yeah, y'all thought Charleston White was a real nigga. That's how, that's how I know y'all don't know how to judge individuals or y'all don't understand a man character. Because you've been in the penitentiary because you got a bunch of money don't make you real. <clears throat> that don't make you real at all. A lot of them niggas that's rapping, I'm being honest with you. They'll go to penitentiary for two, three years, go to federal penitentiary because they got caught up trying to be in the streets. <clears throat> and they sit around and malingo around real niggas that's really in that motherfucker for a crime, sitting on two live sentences or a life or 140 years, a nigga that ain't going to come home. And they sitting up under that type of nigga in that penitentiary. And that nigga already been there 20 or 30 years. So he game tight. All he do is sit back and think about how he can get over on the next nigga because he ain't never going home. So, you know, them rap niggas that go in there with them two years, five years in the federal penitentiary, and they back home, they get up under a nigga like that in the penitentiary and they learn how to talk. They learn how to talk. Them niggas ain't never lived that type of life. You understand what I'm saying? Half of these niggas is just understanding what a PSI is, a pre-sentence investigation. You dig? So they screaming it. I, you don't even hear me talk about that type of shit. I did almost 33 and a half years in the, in the can, man. You know what I'm saying? My number in Louisiana is 1126-76. 1126 76. My number here in Texas is 607370. See what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I've been doing that in the can, man. So I don't really get out and want nobody to applause me from getting out of penitentiary. You understand me? If I wanted an applause from getting out of penitentiary, I would have never went in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't owe me nothing when I get out the can because nigga ain't put me in there. And half of the niggas that say they glad to see you when you was in there, they ain't never wrote you a letter. They ain't never came to visit you. So nigga, how in the fuck is you so glad that I'm out and about? But when I was down, you was nowhere around. See what I'm talking about? All these hoes want to run up on you and give you the pussy. Bitch, you ain't send me a dime while I'm in there. You understand me? You ain't even put no money on secure, which is the telephone. You ain't did nothing, and you think, because I'm off lock, I'm supposed to give you this fresh off lock dick because you looking like this? Bitch, you stupid. The game don't go like that. See, I'm just a nigga that ain't got the money that I'm supposed to have right now. <laughs> well, see, <laughs> I'm telling you some facts. You dig what I'm saying? Real niggas, you understand me? Real niggas, you understand me? It's, it's, it's like a pressure on a real nigga back because he can't bend. If he bend, them white folks going to bury your motherfucking ass. And that's just what happened to real niggas. You understand me? Fake niggas can do all kind of whole ass shit. You understand me? Show guns on Facebook and Instagram and talk about putting hits on motherfucker heads and talking about they going to kill motherfucker and all that old shit. Ain't nothing going to happen to them. Because them folks know they ain't got no motherfucking record for that type of activity. Me, I can't say no shit like that. Because my shit is in action. Everything I say is accountable to me. You know, I'm being held accountable. So if I go to talking about, you understand know, me, to your motherfucking ass and uh, letting them things be, you know, uh, here come them people to get me. You understand? Know, they ain't taking no chance with a nigga that do produce action. <laughs> 